I finished this sentence, Florida Gator speedster Jeff Demps would have already finished a race. Regarded as the fastest player in college football, Demps has the unique distinction of owning two national championships. In 2008, he played a vital role in the Gators' BCS title. Then last year, he helped Florida win the NCAA indoors with a gold medal performance in the 60-meter dash. This past weekend in Fayetteville, he added to his resume by breaking his own school record in the sprint to claim the SEC title. Having achieved such impressive accolades, it's not hard to make comparisons to a few other SEC two-sport standouts. Bo Jackson with 9.5 speed gets outside and see you later. Herschel Walker, that kid out of Johnson County, he got a block in front of him and went in the corner standing. There goes Dimps. See you later. Touchdown run for Dimps. He goes 72 yards on a quick hitter off to the right. We've got a foot race at the 40, the 30, the 20. Bye-bye, Bo. Got to be Walker. Touchdown. And a catch made on the far sideline. That's a touchdown. 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 Jeff Dimps. Jeff was promised when he came here he'd be able to do both sports. We've had two sports guys out here before, but I think the big thing with with Jeff or any other two sport athlete is, is that, you know, the fact that they come out here and we're able to work with football, work with the strength and conditioning staff and, you know, kind of mesh the two sports together. Football, you know, you got those short sprints, whereas in track, you know, you sprint, you know, for a long period of time. I mean, at the end of the day, you, you're getting a hard workout, you know, either way it goes, whether you're a football or you're a track. The big thing with Jeff is, is that Jeff wants to be the absolute best. It's just not something he does just to be doing it. That's just the way he, he conducts his life. Anything he does, he does full effort. His work ethic rubs off on people. Like me personally, like he come out every day and he warms up 100% every day. I might be doing 100%, but his 100% look different. So it make you want to do, you know, go a little faster, go a little, you know, go a little harder because he, you know, he's working so hard. Yeah, obviously when you get someone who's a national champion and of that caliber, just having him around kind of raises the level of expectation, the level of excitement for everybody. And I think he, he brings that to the track when he comes out here. You know, there's a different attitude, a different focus. He came in and he was instantly like the fastest guy on the team, but he didn't come out and act like he was. Having somebody, you know, with high status like him that comes out and does that, you know, that makes his impact great. Well, he just he's just another one of the guys. He's not a guy that, you know, yes, he's a national champion. Yes, he's a great football player. Football's very important to Jeff. And I know that if he's excelling in football, that makes Jeff happy, so that makes me happy. Jeff's a football guy that runs track in the spring. Despite being hampered by an injury the latter part of the 2010 season, Dimps led the Gators in rushing yards, carries, and all-purpose yards at 927. That same level of success and tenacious work ethic carries over to the track, where he is the reigning NCAA 100-meter dash champion. For Jeff, I mean, him, him, him getting the blocks next to seven other guys doesn't phase him. He's on a football field with a 100,000 fans screaming and yelling and 11 guys trying to kill him. So him getting the blocks next to anybody doesn't bother him. For him, it's not, it doesn't take much preparation. He just, like, he knows he's good. He's humble about it. He works hard every day at practice, and he's going to show up to the track, and he's going to do what he's supposed to do. Like Coach Roy say, when we run football, when you got to have ice cold water in your veins, when he getting ready to run, like he he has that. Like it's like a like he's on in and he in his lane only. A lot of people get caught in the what's going into this big race. And the national championship, the camera's there now. You know, you're getting an interview leading up to your races and, and but he gets it so much. He puts football in front of hundred thousand fans. So I mean, let's be honest, a, a race with, you know, probably 3,000 people in the stands is not really affecting that kid. Well, first when I get in the blog, you know, I try to tune everything out and just focus, like, mainly on what I have to do. And then, you know, when I hit the gun, you know, what I'm going to do after the gun goes off, you know, how I'm going to react to it, uh, my steps coming out of the block, so they're going to be short and choppy or long and powerful. When I have a good race, I don't hear anything, like, everything just goes blank. In lane number five, your defending NCAA champion and runner-up at the Southeastern Conference from last year with a lifetime best 656 from the Florida Jeff Dilks. Quiet, please, gentlemen. On your mark. Set. This will be quick, folks. The final of the 60 meter dash. Jeff 
on the strength of eight individual titles, the number one ranked University of Florida men's track and field team scored 148 team points to capture the 2011 Southeastern Conference Indoor Championship on Sunday at the Randall Tyson Track Center. This is the school's first indoor league crown since 2004. The Gators received title winning performances from Jeff Demps in the 60 meter dash, Dumi Hasuelo in the mile and 3,000 meters, Gray Horn in the heptathlon, and Christian Taylor in the triple jump. Other winners include LSU's Walter Henning, who won the men's 35 pound weight throw for the third straight season. Alabama's Karani James in the 400 meters and Ricky Robertson of Ole Miss in the high jump. This SEC title is the 197th for Florida in all sports and program history. It's the sixth SEC indoor championship for the Gators men's track and field program. SEC Weekly caught up with the winners after the meet. It feels great coming back doing it the same place we did it before. Uh, we all had this in mind. Uh, the motto this week was just have fun, I mean that's what we did, we got the work done and you know when you're winning you have fun, you, everyone's smiling and so we kept that all in mind and got it done. In the end you just, we, we have the race strategy, we have, you know, all the, we did everything that we need to do to get here and so um, before he just says, you know, say your prayers but you know just trust, trust the work, trust, um, trust what you did to get here and then that's what everybody did and so and then we put it out. You know the team, the recruiting, the recruiting, the coaches, everything, it all comes together and it makes it that much more worth it. Last one, best one is the motto uh, that we do in practice and you know take that to the relay and everyone gave it 100 percent and we finished off our top. You know I feel like if, if you put your mind to it you can do anything and that's really what I believe and when it comes to the jumps, when it comes to the track, you know, uh, I, you know I, I feel like I'm number one in everything and when you have that belief uh, nothing can stop you. This is the first step in showing every, you know, everyone in the nation that we're coming and they're seeing the results and so numbers don't lie and we're going to take that and go to nationals and just improve and you know take that. Coach Holloway has a lot of messages. Uh, one of them is pride coming in here and matching the pride of Arkansas, LSU, all the teams that are in the chase right now for the title. If we can match them, match their intensity, I think we'll be okay because we have the talent to do so. I'm just trying to write my name in the books. I'm just trying to be part of the greatness that is in this building right now. I'm trying to just do me. I'm trying to just improve myself week by week. And at SECs, I do everything that I can for the Gators because it means a lot to me to be part of that too. From the beginning, I've known uh, from the start that my role is to kickstart this team in the championships, whether it be NCAAs, whether it be SECs in this case. And I just want to do that. I want to get my teammates fired up just like they fire me up when they have big performances. We feed off of each other. That's what we do. I'm going to be honest with you. If you would have told me that this was going to happen three years ago, I wouldn't have believed you. I went down to Florida by myself, not many friends, you know, trying to fit in with the team. They embraced me. They took me to the top. We've been through our struggles. I've been through some coaching changes. But at the same time, I think uh, my family and God have put me where I'm supposed to be, and I'm really thankful for that. It's something I haven't been able to do yet in my career in Florida. I've won two outdoors, never won an indoor. This means a lot to me.